Welcome back. You are watching my Air Miles, and in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I want to talk about pan and zoom. You'll have seen me do this in most of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials when I zoom in on a specific button or area of the screen that is of importance. So this is me setting up a pan and zoom automatic in DaVinci Resolve. Now, before we start with this, I have to introduce the concept of keyframes. So when you use a keyframe, you're telling DaVinci Resolve, I want you to store the setting at this point, and then when you create a second keyframe, you store a different setting at a different point. And what DaVinci Resolve will do is if you have, say for example, a different zoom setting between two keyframes, is it will interpolate and automatically give you a steady smooth zoom between those two points. So let's demonstrate that with some drone video that I've got cut out here. This is drone video straight out of the drone. There's been no editing applied to it. And this video was taken at Fleetwood, which is a video that's coming in a couple of weeks time on the Sunday videos. I want the video to start zoomed in on the area where I know the jet ski is gonna jump into frame. And then I want it to smoothly zoom and pan out to be full frame for the second half of the video. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna set up, first of all, the keyframe at full frame, because that's where the video defaults at in the timeline, right? So this is zoom and position, pan and zoom. And these are the keyframe markers here. So if I said I wanted to be full frame at this, let's say 10 second point, right? So at 10 seconds, I want it to be full frame. Then I just click the keyframe on both of those, and that's locked in that position. Now if I move the timeline back to the very start, what I don't recommend doing on a drone video from the Mavic Air, now I film in 2.7K, so I can do a, usually a two times zoom, if I, if I render this at 1080p, I can do a two times zoom with lossless, almost lossless video quality. So I'm gonna do a two times zoom in the zoom, that's gonna jump me in there, and I'm now going to set the position of the video to being right in the bottom right hand corner of the video. So I'm just going to click on the video and move it. And I'm going to place that there. So now you can see what it's done is that it's actually created two new keyframes for me. It's created the red one there for two and it's created the red one there for those positions that I moved the video to. And you can actually click on the arrow to the right to see the next keyframe. So you can jump to that keyframe and then you can jump back to your previous keyframe and you can go through as many keyframes as you want. So let's watch this now and see how the video looks. So that's quite nice. You see how it's got a nice steady zoom out where you had the guy walking on to shore from his jet ski it's got him up doing his spin around at the top there. Now, what you might want to do, because it's like, well, a lot of the action is actually up the top there, is, you know, now too much pan and zoom can be bad, but let's go ahead and say that I want to add a few more in just because this is a tutorial video. Then let's go ahead and do that. So I want it to be coming back out to full frame for the end of the video. So we'll put a key from in there full frame, and we'll come back to, oh, I don't know, about here-ish, and we'll say that that's our next keyframe. And what I want there is I want to have that as a two times zoom, not a 20 times zoom, a two times zoom. And actually, that's not terrible positioning, actually. Um, what I might do is bring it up here, just so it's kind of centered. So because I know the drone moves and points towards the jet skier, I'm actually gonna leave it like this. So it will have a, a relatively quick zoom out, a slow zoom in to the point here where I've set that third keyframe to, and then it will quickly zoom out as the camera's moving backwards, so you'll get an interesting effect. Let's take a look at how that looks. So 
So now that we've had a look at it, I can see that he goes off frame during this pan and zoom that I've got set up, and I don't like that. So I'm adding an extra keyframe in and moving the x-axis a little bit to the right just to make sure that the jet skier that is the key focus of this little clip is always in frame at all times. Okay, let's take a look at the final product and see how it looks with all these panning and crops applied. If my tutorials do help you, please do consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like. If you are a super fan, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends and family as well on your social medias. And don't forget to comment down below letting me know if you have any questions or tips or tutorials that you want me to make in DaVinci Resolve, because if I know what you want, I can create content you want to watch. And with all that said, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.